Please, ma'am, how will I know that ovulation has taken place? Good morning to you. Have you shared this video? Have you liked this page? Have you subscribed to support us? Have you dropped your prayer request? Make sure you share this video. Somebody is asking me, how is she going to know that she have OV? And I have made several videos about signs of OV. You guys don't watch my video, but don't worry. I'm going to throw light on it. But before I do that, let me put a disclaimer that this content is intended for general information and not to be used as a basic for patient treatment. I am not a medical practitioner. I don't claim to be one. I am a researcher. I study and I come here to educate, sanitize, impart, inform women that are trying to become pregnant. With this explanation, if you need help, prescription, recommendation, please, or you feel concerned about your health or fertility, contact your healthcare provider. Now, what is OV? What is ovulation? It is a process whereby the matured egg is released from your ovary. Now, um, some people, when they are not getting pregnant, they always believe that they are not ovulating. I want to tell you something about conception. Like I said before, I am not a fertility expert. I'm not a medical practitioner, but I study a lot about fertility. And I just share basic information, just general information. I'm not going deep into anything that I'm going to be teaching here. There's a lot of things surrendering conception. Conception is a process, especially when you have gotten to the age of 35. You need to assist yourself. You need to work it out. You need to be careful. You need to plan it. So when you are not getting pregnant, it doesn't really mean that uh, it's only that you don't. There are many things. You that is trying to become pregnant, are you going to the doctor with your husband? Have your husband gone for semen analysis? No. You are just working on your own. This thing is something that you need to work together. As you are going for your own uh, fertility checkup, your partner should also go for his own. Because if he have problem with his, it's going to affect you. So you need to work together. Don't do it alone. And again, it's possible that you OV might not get pregnant because there are other factors. One, if this egg is released, the egg needs to be fertilized, right? What about if your partner have issue with a semen? Now, if the egg is fertilized, it will not turn into what is known as zygote. Then this zygote needs to travel down to the fallopian tube where it is going to implant. And there is a hormone that is responsible for this. If you have estrogen problem, it's going to affect. Now, if you become pregnant eventually and it happens that you have low progesterone, you might miscarry the, the pregnancy because... Progesterone is a hormone that supports you throughout your pregnancy. So you would like to do a random test. And the reason why I pointed out all these things is to correct this impression that when you are not getting pregnant, you base it on only that you do not OV. I know that OV is the basics of conception, but there are other things you would like to look into. First, you need to conduct AMH anti melanin hormone test to know if you even have egg left than there <laughs> and also the quality and the quantity of them. Now, let me go back to the topic. How would you know that OV have taken place? Of course, the number one sign is cervical mucus changes. If you haven't watched the video, there was a video I made about this. I use a lot of things to demonstrate it. Please kindly go and watch it. When you are in your fertile window or peak of your fertility window, your cervical mucus will change to egg white. It will be drawing stitchy. It's obvious if you are somebody that study or watch video, you are going to see it. Another one is cramp. A lot of women feel cramp when the egg is about to release. Another one is nipple, you know, 
some people have that and other people have spotting you might have light spotting and other people may have high sense of smell and other people may have craving and other people may feel headache you know and other people will feel like they want to sleep diesel so it depends like me i know the signs if you study yourself you will know the signs so watch yourself just cool down study yourself in a every given month you will know when it's happening it's not somebody that will tell you you will know and when you know you will not know say oh oh god where are you come let us go and play football you know <laughs> that kind of football where you they play but there's one mistake we women too especially when we are so eager anxious you know to become pregnant now jollification is something that both of you need to enjoy it's something that you should settle down you should fix your mind there most of you don't even reach mountain because you see it as, as nothing your reason of doing it is just because you want to become pregnant no that one it will not will leave yourself free your mind enjoy every bit of it don't do it because ah, i want to do this oh, God, come, 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 God, come. that one your body is not even open so it's just that everything will come out but when you relax if you relax you understand what i'm talking about if you relax and enjoy every bit of it you will see it will go up and your muscles will be relaxed it's, you know that thing is just a way to ease stress if you are somebody that is always stressful just try this just you know feel it feel it don't do it because it's it, it just like somebody who have not been studying their books and they only read when the exam is coming on you see them cramming they are reading just to pass the exam they are not reading to know there is two types of reading reading to know and you know when you read and you know the thing will assimilate will be in your brain like what i'm teaching you right now i am not reading it from anywhere because i studied them i learned them even if i'm sleeping you call me what is this i will be able to explain it but what as if i cram them if i cram them and i come here to read it out once i step here if you ask me i would not be able to answer because i didn't learn i only cram that is the same thing do baby dancing jollificate because you want to feel it not because you want to carry belly i don't know if i make sense in this video if you like this content my platform oh my good friend here will be your last bus stop follow our page you guys should recommend this page tell us what you think before i leave again i am not a medical practitioner and this content is intended for general information and shouldn't be used as a basic for patient treatment go to your doctor contact your physician your healthcare provider your fertility expert if you feel concerned about your health and fertility thank you so much i love you all